Rachel here. I thought I would start a Q&A because I get questions from you guys all the time about different CM aspects. So today, our very first question is a really good one because I get it all the time and I hear it all the time. And this one's from Charlotte and she says she wants to know how do you fit in all the subjects, all the CM subjects, because there's so many, right? And she sees people, you know, in Facebook groups and Instagram, they're just doing it all and they're doing it all perfectly, but she says she gets overwhelmed. Okay, this is a really good one and it's part of my passion on why I started the plenary. The answer is don't. Don't do it all. You don't have to do it all. It's okay not to do it all. Listen, my big motto is Charlotte Mason, your way. Do it your way. I tell moms all the time, don't get overwhelmed with trying to do all the things, okay? So start small. My best advice is to start small. Just start with a few subjects. You don't have to do everything all at once. Start with a few subjects that you feel confident in and that you feel good about. And then when you feel confident in your schedule and getting those things done, then add a little bit more. Add one more subject or another reading. Add something else to the schedule. Try that out for a little while and then add something else. This way, you set yourself up for success. I'm all about setting yourself up for success and feeling confident in what you are doing. If you start with everything and you get overwhelmed, which you will, then you end up cutting. And when you start to cut, you start to feel like a failure. And you start to feel like, oh, I'm not doing this right. I'm not doing a good job. Why can't I get it all done? No, 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 no. Stop that right there. What you need to do is start small, start on a good foundation, and build your success, okay? So, I wanna tell you that I go over all of this in detail in my CM Your Way form guides. Um, this is the form one guide. I've got form one, two, three, and four, and I just started working on the preschool kindergarten guide. It'll be out soon. Um, but so in the form guide, I walk you through all the subjects and then there's a great little quiz that I love. It's called the Charlotte Mason Your Way Quiz. So this little quiz is, it's a gold mine. I'm telling you, I just love it. And I've done it for years and years and years in my own home. And then I decided, you know what? Other people can benefit from this little quiz. So I put it in the, in the Your Way form guides, okay? This little quiz will, when you go through this quiz, it will show you your strengths as a family, not just your strengths as the teacher or individual strengths as students, but as a family. And it will show you which subjects that are best for you to start at to give yourself a successful foundation, okay? And then, once you have completed the quiz, then you take the results of your quiz into the, the step three of the form guide, which is creating your custom schedule. The custom schedule is what anchors your day and yet allows your homeschool to breathe and allows the give and take of you know commitments and things you have to do uh, outside the home if there's somebody that gets sick or you have to take care of a family member you have um, speech therapy appointments whatever it is the schedule that i walk you through in the form guides is customized to you and your family's situation so when you put all these things together it really really sets you up for success and makes you feel good about what you're doing it, it brings it brings a peace a peace to your schedule a peace to your homeschool and a peace to your life um, because that's what it's all about, right? That's what we want. We want a peaceful, relaxing homeschool. We do not want stress. We do not want to feel overwhelmed or feel like we're drowning. 
We want a schedule uh, that will work for our family and that gives us the confidence and the peace to keep going, okay? So that's the first Q and that's my A and we'll keep doing these. And if you're not part of the Facebook group, please join the Facebook group and send me those questions. You can send me an email or a Facebook post, whatever you like, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Thanks.